the bodies of a 15-year-old teenage boy and a 58-year-old man have been found inside a New South Wales home, Australia, with gunshot wounds. Both the boy and the man were found deceased with gunshot wounds in the property on Kookaburra Circuit in Yamba, northern New South Wales, on Thursday afternoon. Police from the Coffs Clarence Police District were called to the home at 1.10pm after reports that bodies had been found inside. We don't know who found the bodies, but I can imagine that's going to be traumatic for whomever it happened to be. It is not believed that a third party was involved in the incident, which is suspected to be the result of a murder-suicide. We're told that the 58-year-old man was believed to be a licensed firearms holder, and with that, I think we're being told that it's believed that the 58-year-old man is believed to have murdered the 15-year-old boy and then taken his own life. We're not told the relationship between the boy and the man were not provided with any names or photos or any further details. This happened earlier today, about nine hours ago, 1.10 p.m., or that's when the bodies were discovered at the premises. So it's believed to be a murder-suicide. I assume that means the it's believed that the 58-year-old man killed the 15-year-old boy. And my guess, which could be wrong, my guess is that the 58-year-old man was the father. Maybe that's not right, but that would be my assumption. Police have requested the man's licensing history from the New South Wales Firearms Registry. A crime scene has been established and will be forensically examined by specialist teams. A full report will also be prepared for the coroner. If anyone has any information in regards to the incident which again happened today, Thursday 1st of June, at a property on Kookaburra Circuit, Yamba, Northern New South Wales, of course, do reach out to the police. I'm not personally familiar with Yamba. I've just done a Google map search for Kookaburra Circuit and it looks like a very pleasant residential suburb a sleepy little town kind of thing probably a beautiful place in the world so what would leave a 58 year old man to shoot a 15 year old boy my answer mental illness i mean we don't know i'm I'm speculating of course but i would have to assume mental illness this man i would assume snapped why would he snap i get the feeling that a lot of people are snapping life in australia is not easy it ought to be it used to be it isn't anymore i'm speaking from personal experience but also from what i just see out there in the world rents are going up interest rates are going up 11 increases over the last few months something like that i would guess that kookaburra circuit is one of the better places to live in australia that would be my assumption could be wrong but maybe the 58 year old man was suffering extreme financial stress maybe he was concerned that he wasn't going to be able to financially support him or anybody else and perhaps the 15 year old boy was his son who knows perhaps there was a triggering incident an argument between the two which pushed the 58 year old man over the edge we don't know but But regardless of the reasons and motives, it's an absolute tragedy, of course, particularly for the loss of the 15-year-old boy. The 58-year-old man did not have any right to take the life of another. I'm going to comment that I've not read too many murder-suicides occurring in Australia. Unfortunately, there have been a rash of such cases, articles that I've gone over in America, various parts of America. A couple of months back, there was like half a dozen in a row where, I mean, mostly the father had taken the lives of the wife and the children there were several cases like that it is something regrettably which happens not so much in Australia perhaps because of the lack of access to guns and as I say in this case it seems that the 58 year old man was legally licensed to have a firearm or firearms plural I don't know why perhaps his property that he lives on is rural, semi-rural, not sure. It looks like a residential area to me, but I don't know the specific address. Perhaps he works on a farm or such. This is going to be devastating to the local community, his direct neighbours first and foremost, and obviously the friends and family of both deceased are going to be absolutely shocked and devastated. And of course, full condolences to the family and friend of the murder victim, which I am assuming is the 15-year-old boy. So all of the speculation that I've made during this video has been based on assumptions and it might well be inaccurate apologies if that's the case i'm gonna say that maybe there is a blessing perhaps this is not the best thing to say but perhaps it is a blessing that this type of crime doesn't happen that often in australia as far as i understand perhaps that's a blessing but of course that's not going to offer too much support to the family and friends of the murder victim so i'm going to wrap things up at this point if you appreciate the coverage please do like comment subscribe share the video as you see fit i am trying to get a number of members on the channel if you're happy to consider that that would be great but either way thanks for your time take care